Hi, welcome to LessonsWithTroy.com. On today's lesson, I'm going to show you 18 new licks, and I'm going to show you how to use them. These licks are all in the key of G, and they're all pretty ambiguous, so uh, you can play them over different chords. But I'll show you how to put them over a G chord, a C chord, and a D chord. And I'll also show you how to change them up to where if you wanted to take a real major sounding lick with just adjusting a few notes of that lick, you can turn it into a real nice bluesy lick too. We got a lot to learn, so go ahead and print out your tab, set it on the stand in front of you, and we'll get started with that first set of licks. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with that first set of licks. Now we basically have six sets of licks, and within each set, there's three licks for a total of 18 total licks. Okay, this first set, I'll play the whole thing through, all four measures. I'm basically playing measures one, two, three, and four, and it'll sound like this slowly. Two, three, four. <laughs> So what I just played there, the first lick, which is this, that's going to be over our G chord. Okay, and I'll show you that in just a second. The next lick, that's over the C chord. And this lick, that's over the D chord. And this, how we're going to end each lick is with that little slide up to five and then a backwards roll there. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at that first lick and I'll break each of uh, these six lines, each lick down so that, so that you get it first of all. Let's go ahead and look at that first lick. Okay, the majority of these licks are in open position. The first lick over that G chord will look like this. Okay, I'm basically starting there on my third string, fourth fret, and then open second string, open first string, going two to zero, and then open second string, two to zero on my third string. you the right hand in just a second, but let's go ahead and get the left hand down with these legs. Okay, second leg over that C chord looks like this. Hitting that, droning out that first string open, and sliding down on my third string, three to two to zero, pulling off to zero. And then two on my fourth string, open third string, two to zero on my fourth, once again, three to two, pull off to zero, two on my fourth string, open third, two to zero on my fourth, back to an open third. Okay, and then that D leg. Zero to four, zero to two, open second string, two to zero, four, that's that leg. Once again, zero to four, on my fourth string, zero to two on my third, open second string, two to zero on my third, four on my fourth, and then we're ending with that fourth lick, and this is how all these licks, all these sets of licks will end is with this roll. It's just an open third string, sliding up to my fifth fret on my fourth string, and then doing a reverse roll on my first, third, and fourth string. So again, open third, slide up to five on my fourth string, and then reverse roll on first, third, and fourth string. Okay, so 
let's go through all those licks again, real slow. There's lick number one over the G chord, that's measure number one. Over the C chord we've got... Over the D chord we've got... Okay, let's look at the right hand. Okay, the right hand for that first set of licks, that's measures one through four, looks like this. Okay, that's over that G chord, and basically I'm just keeping my thumb on my third string. Index on my second, middle on my first. Okay, then over that C chord, we've got... Doing that double stop there with my thumb, middle finger. And then thumb on my fourth string. Index on my third. Thumb on my fourth, back to index on my third. That's over the C chord, measure number two. Over the D chord, looks like this. Basically, keeping my thumb here on my fourth string, index on my third, middle on my second. G roll. Remember this one. We're going to be doing this one at the end of each each set of uh, licks. That's index, playing third, slide up. Once again, my thumbs playing my fourth string. Index is on my third, middle's on my first. Let's put all that together with the right hand. Two, three, four. Okay, great. Let's practice this now, and uh, we'll work with it with the practice tracks.